Hello, welcome to another video by Indicator Vault. Uh, my name is Ronald, and in this video, we're going to go over the Candlestick Pattern Pro here in Trading View. And I've got the settings pulled up here, and you can see all of these candlestick patterns that this marks out. And the default setting, you're going to find uh, all these boxes checked. And so I would definitely encourage you to go through uh, which ones you prefer the most, which ones you're most comfortable trading, and you know maybe just have those checked. And I'm going to go through some examples with different ones checked, uh, you know, or turned on. In this, you know, example with the Euro Australian dollar chart, I've just got these ones near the top turned on, and you can, you know, scroll through the other settings here below. And so if you have all of them turned on, it, it can just kind of clutter up the chart a lot. Um, and so you may just want to have a handful and maybe even have just a preference of which ones you uh, give more, you know, priority over others. You know, maybe you, you know, if you see an engulfing and a harami, maybe you just want to be trading the engulfing and just have the, you know, the harami as just extra you know, confluence, but you can see I've got a, uh, you know, here the the wolf wave and the order block gen on here, and just some, you know, confluence to have with these patterns. You always want to, you know, have extra confirmation, not just blindly enter on the bearish or bullish candlestick patterns. And of course, you can see the candlestick pattern pro will mark out you know, what the pattern is and if it's a, you know, a bearish or a bullish uh, setup. And so one way you can use these as far as with confluence, see here, I've got the easy wolf wave indicator on. And right here, even though we can see a bullish Harami form here, we don't really have any other confirmation as of yet. And we can see, you know, it, it doesn't play out here. There's no, you know, break of structure or, you know, up move with a good retracement to really trade off of here. So then it does one more impulse down and then we've got this bullish wolf wave form. And so what do we then see here? Price moves up a little and we've got bullish doji candles form. So now we've got these two confirmations lining up and we can find an entry, you know, with the expectation that price is going to move up. The bullish wolf wave. Now we've got the bullish doji. We now see a break of structure, retraces, flies back up. And then you can also see I have the order block gen here. Let me hide this for now. So even if you didn't have the wolf wave on, but let's say you wanted to use the order block gen, another powerful indicator. Well, here we've got a bullish order block form right here in this zone. And inside of this zone is where we see the bullish candlestick pattern, the doji pattern form. Then what do we see? The break of structure retraces back into the bullish order block and then flies up. Could have been a great trade here. Just, you know, retracing back into the top of the order block or even the doji candles. With your stop below here. Looking like a great at least three, maybe four R trade. Just to, you know, capture this alone back up into this area. And here's just another example with uh, a different indicator with a logic day trading. And you'll see on this one, I've got some different ones marked out. I don't really have any near the top. I've got a lot of the two or three pattern ones checked off here. Right. So just a little bit of some different examples. And uh, you can use this as kind of the same uh, confluence with the order block gen. You know, here the logic day trading is marks out a buy zone, a buy signal. And inside of that zone, we see the three white soldiers pattern appear, right? With the break of structure above this high and even above this high. 
and then classic just retracement back into that zone and even I believe looks like a healthy fib retracement yep right here just wicks into the 61.8 then a strong move up and so just another way to couple this you know if you just had a you know these three let me pull them up again even if you just had these three pattern ones the rising two rising three rising four the three soldiers things like that is finding a pattern like that with a break of structure inside of a you know an order block or a logic day trade zone is going to be incredible results and you can see here off of the 61.8 quickly takes out this new high so just trading that could be an easy three to one trade retraces a little bit deeper but we can expect some more bullishness and that's exactly what we see we see the new high created here off of this first touch then off of the second touch another new higher high created and then here for the last example, I've got the Australian dollar, Japanese yen daily chart, and I've got the order block gen along with the candlestick pattern pro. And, you know, even if you just wanted to uh, use simple price action concepts without maybe like the order block gen turned on, this will mark it out as an order block, um, it, you know, after it breaks this low. But even if you just wanted to be aggressive, you know, for instance, if we mark out this low, we have the dark cloud cover candlestick forming. We see it break below this low. And so maybe an aggressive entry, if you want to go from daily down to lower time frames, is don't wait for, you know, maybe the order block to mark it out. But if you're going to use multi time frames, to extra confirmation and not just stick to one time frame. If you want to stick to just the daily, I would certainly wait for the order block gen to mark it out. But let's say you wanted to just, you know, go down to the one hour or the 15 minute, which we're going to do here in a second and refine your entries. Um, you know, this could certainly be an aggressive type of entry, but just wanted to point out, if you have a bearish candlestick pattern formed, then a break of structure or of that pan of that candlestick pattern, as you can see, it's marked out these candles here. We see this next candle close below. So now we're marking out the low of that up candle inside inside of the candlestick pattern. And we're going to see how it perfectly wicks into the low of that and continues to drop. So let's go into the one hour and look at that right as it wicks into the bottom of it you can see you know it breaks here wicks into it and we see Barris Harami cross forming right as it is touching the bottom of that daily candle and so you could have you know an aggressive entry obviously you have very little drawdown if you did that and this would work out great but you could have entered maybe here with your stop above here and watch it continue to go down but i wanted to point out as well if we go to the 15 minute you can then get an even more refined entry so that you don't have to use a recent high here to the left this is what we see. We see it wick into the daily supply zone as it broke below the low. Right as it's doing that, we have the bearish order block marked out. We see it break below it, break of structure. Wicks back into it with this green candle. And as it's retracing into the zone, we then see a bearish candlestick pattern the dark cloud cover form so right as that shows up you could enter here right at the start of that new candle and even if you did that 
to stop above here, just waiting for a new lower low. Is about a three to one. But as we're going to see, after some consolidation, it does eventually run this low for over a five R and R. Actually, it doesn't consolidate quite yet. It will consolidate here and then continue to push even lower. Because again, for this example, we're marking it out on the higher time frame, the daily. Remember, the daily gave us that bearish candlestick pattern. So, so then we go to the one hour, and as it's wicking it back into that zone, we then get another bearish candlestick pattern. Then we go to the 15 minute, and inside of that 15 minute as well, as it's touching the higher time frame zone, we then get another bearish candlestick pattern. So, three confirmations of right in the same zone bearish candlestick patterns and then we even get it wicking into or retracing into a bearish order block so right here as this yellow line so many confirmations to get into um, a short trade just from right there with almost little to no drawdown and of course you can even just repeat the process. If you have new lows, of course, you know, waiting for this low to be taken, you can just repeat this process. Find if we're still in, in a bearish downtrend on the higher time frame, we wait for confirmations of bearish order blocks and bearish. Um, candlestick patterns lining up together. Of course, it doesn't have to just be order blocks. It can be, you know, the logic day trade. It can be paired with uh, wolf wave or harmonic patterns. Of course, we can see as it continues to drop, taking out all these other lows. Let me mark that out here. Just for that low, we're now looking at over a 10 almost an 11 R to R trade and of course keeps dropping. So incredible trade that could have been gotten here with three different time frames lining up for bearish candlestick patterns with almost no drawdown right as it touched there. So this is just uh, some ways to trade with the candlestick pattern pro. And again, you know, it marks out so many different ones. I would encourage you to find some of your favorite ones, look up, you know, maybe what each of them may, you know, mean or point to. And then just coupling them with, you know, some other indicators can provide very powerful results and great trades to get into. So I hope this video was helpful. And until next time, best of luck trading.